kind of excited to show you a little sample of some stuff that we're doing where we're now producing not only a custom churchwide campaigns, but we're helping churches explore the possibility of how to do a different kind of church service. Um, a church service that isn't just a traditional, isn't a contemporary, but is a conversational church service. So we're having a blast helping to kind of figure out ways for pastors to get a taste of what this might look like. Um, where the conversation we had today with John and his team is so exciting because John has got a guy named Kevin Penry, who used to be with um, Life Church for a couple of decades and help Craig Rochelle and Bobby Grunewald do their, their model. But you can see here, this is a more of a conversational teaching format. They're actually in there teaching this live with John. And we're showing churches how they can leverage the online experience in some fun and new and, and fascinating ways, leveraging technology and media and some, um, you know, just different ways to be able to produce a church service by the way they capture the worship, the way they capture the teaching. And um, so we're on our way to kind of a one-year engagement, helping them do some things that they hadn't done before. And, um, looking forward to seeing what God's going to do. So interested in a conversation, uh, church service, want to see how we might be able to reach the next gen. We're more interested these days in a conversation, not just a sermon. Here we're getting the best of both, uh, kind of the best of a small group and a weekend service mashed together. There it is, conversation service. Take a look. We are going to be exploring the decisions and the disciplines we can incorporate into our lives so we can make the most of today and build a life that will be fulfilling into the future. We'll be looking at our attitudes, our priorities, our relationships, and more. A good life becomes an extraordinary life when there's a lot of love in it. And Jesus, in teaching us to live upward, inward, and outward, loving God, loving ourselves, and loving others, what makes life extraordinary is a lot of love. So margin is making some, some choices to have some breathing room in our life. Margin is about choosing not to live all the way up to the limit, or like we typically do, over the limit in our lives. It's really about uh, the theologians during the Reformation who rediscovered the New Testament and the truths that they, they realized revolutionized their lives, blew their lives up, and it's still blowing our lives up in the 21st century. Do you like the 49ers? Yes, I do. No, no, no. And uh, their, their color's red, right? Like the blood of Jesus. <laughs> you know, we make these awkward transitions. Yeah. And like she stated, we got 18 grandkids and uh, four great grands. So I'll, I'll pray and, and I'll pay. I'm sorry, how old are you, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 56. I'm married. You don't need to tell me her age. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you so fearful that it makes you run? What, what, what we got? Eternal revenue service. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to block out your face because they may come for you just because of that comment. Where's an area in your life or season in your life where you ran because of fear? We talk about this. We don't have a perfect marriage. He's still growing. <laughs> I love saying that. It was a wonderful experience now, looking back. Right. Just hang in there right. and surrender. Yeah. So you experienced his goodness in the midst of your we circumstances. We did, totally. You know, stuff happens. In all things, God is working. But it wasn't until I really gave my need to the Lord and I tried online dating. Um, yeah. I've never met an online couple before, <laughs> so. Do I say your name right? No, you butcher my name. Berenger! <laughs> no. Just really don't want to bring all of that baggage totally. into that, that new chapter, Absolutely, that redemption. Yeah. <laughs> the only difference between me walking free and not free is making a decision that I was really going to bring that baggage and expose it to the light of Christ.